Hi everyone, this is Shantanu. So we have covered 20 questions as of now, and we'll cover 20 more. After that, we'll again come to you and we'll again start a question and answers. So first of all, uh, let me start the first question, and it's uh, about recently the legendary star Rishi Kapoor who passed away recently. What what is his profession, right? So I think you will definitely take less than one second to give the answer it's an actor right Hima Bhadal who passed away in April 2020 oh, so what was she like who was she not so no we shouldn't say like that who was she was she an architect theater artist folk dancer freedom fighter she was a freedom fighter right and she uh, she so she was a freedom fighter right and she was like 101 year old 101 years old let me no, okay it's, it's it's all so rudra tej singh who passed away recently is the ceo of which company rudra tej singh he was the ceo of certain company what is the name of that company he passed away recently he's from bmw india right when was international jazz day jazz kind of music you know uh, day celebrated annually what is the like, which day It's 30th April. Okay, you will say that oh, it's May. Obviously, you should miss the 30th April thing, so it will get covered right there. Okay, so next one. Chalo, bhai, aage jao. Ah, ye to. Chalo. Uh, Jan Aushadi Sugam, a mobile application developed by the Bureau of Pharma PSUs of India or BPPI. BPPI is under which Indian department? You should know this answer. It, it is it's, it's common uh, it's kind of a common sense common sense it's 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 a uh, department of pharmaceuticals right what is the constituency of union jal shakti minister gajendra shin sekhawa i have told this answer like mm, this is a kind of question like the kaveri management board has been now only recently inducted into this uh, jal ministry right jal shakti ministry so he he uh, who he is the jal shakti minister gajendra shin sekhawa and he is from which uh, constituency he is from Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Okay, the terracotta work of Gorakhpur and Kobilpati Kadalai Mittai has got the GI tag recently, along with Chakhau, the black rice of which Indian state. So, the terracotta work of Gorakhpur or Kobilpati Kadalai Mittai has got the GI tag recently, along with the Chakhau. And a Chakhau it, it's a kind of a black rice, and this black rice is of which from which Indian state. This black rice is of which Indian state? It's from Manipur. Okay. The Ministry of Coal has launched the Project Monitoring Unit or PMU to facilitate early operationalization of coal mines. Who is the present minister for coal? Who is the present minister for coal? Coal ka abhi ministry kaun hold kar raha hai? Is it Prakash Jabrekar, Pralad Joshi, Nitin Gatkar, Yasmiti Aran? It's Pralad Joshi, right? Name the organization of the Department of Science and Technology that has initiated the program on health and risk communication focusing on COVID-19 title, Year of Awareness on Science and Health or YERS. This YERS, uh, one of the program like they have initiated, who has initiated? Uh, organization under the DST, under the Department of Science and Technology. So, what is the name of that organization? It's NCSTC, that is National Council for Science and Technology Communication. Okay, which Indian Navaratna enterprise under coal ministry has started the production of coal for the first time recently? Started the production of coal. But it has now started the production of coal for the first time. What is the name of the institute or the company? It is the first Navy Lignite Corporation. Okay. National Board for Wildlife has allowed to use a part of the Beijing Patkai Elephant Reserve for coal mining recently. The elephant reserve is located in which state? 
ये क्या क्या है क्योंकि दिस आर काइंड ऑफ सेंचुरी और जो वाइल्ड लाइफ एरिया होता है यू कॉन्ट डू एनीथिंग माइनिंग और सम टाइप सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स सो दिस नेशनल बोर्ड फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ क्या किया है इट हैज अलाउड टू यूज अ पार्ट ऑफ द देहिंग पटकाई एलिफेंट रिजर्व फॉर कोल माइनिंग रिसेंटली द एलिफेंट रिजर्व इज लोकेटेड इन व्हिच स्टेट ये जो एलिफेंट रिजर्व है ये जो जिस पांच जगह की बात कर रहा है वो वेयर दिस एलिफेंट रिजर्व इज It's in Assam. Okay, Ayush Entrepreneurship Development Program is a joint initiative of Ayush Ministry along with which other ministry? Ayush Entrepreneurship जो Ministry Development Program start किया है, it's a kind of joint initiative of Ayush as well as which other ministry? It's MSME. Okay, Ministry of Micro, of Small and Medium Enterprises. Okay, let's go to next slide. Which Indian state or UT? Police have, along with All India Institute of Ayurveda, have jointly run the program Ayu Raksha. So, All India Institute of Ayurveda and this Indian state, uh, Indian state UT, a uh, state or UT police has developed, has jointly run the program. What is the name of the program? Ayu Raksha. W what is the name of this place? Or the Indian state or UT? What is the name of this Indian state or UT? Ayu Raksha is from Delhi. Okay, so Delhi is the correct answer. Which Indian state has launched an agro entrepreneur felicitation desk to help the entrepreneurs of the state to get subsidies and incentives from the central government funding agency? So, a Indian state has just like Hali me a launch kya hai or agro entrepreneurship felicitation desk. So, ye kya kya karega? Ye entrepreneurs jo bhi hai state ke, wo subsidy milega un logo. Subsidy milega, upar se incentive bhi milega from central government funding agency ke through se. ठीक है तो कौन सा स्टेट है ये द स्टेट इज त्रिपुरा ओके द ऑयल प्राइस ऑफ व्हिच कंट्री हैज रिकॉर्डेड बिलो 0 डॉलर्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम रिसेंटली कौन सा कंट्री का ऑयल का प्राइस रिसेंटली 0 डॉलर्स से घट के उससे नीचे आ गया है एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ओके so, Reserve Bank of India extended the regulatory benefits under the Special Liquidity Facility for Mutual Fund, the SLF MF Plus Special Liquidity Facility for Banks recently. Headquarter of RBI kahan pe located hai? It's in Bombay or Mumbai, right? Name the first Indian tennis player who has been nominated for the Fed Cup Heart Award from the Asia Oceania Zone. First Indian tennis player ko pehli baar nominate kiya gaya hai. Thikha, jiti nahi hai, jita ya jiti nahi hai. He or she has been nominated for this Fed Cup Heart Award from the Asia or Oceania Zone. This is the first time. What is the name of this player? It's Sanya Mirza. Competition Commission of India has approved the acquisition of 49% of Reliance BP Mobility by BP Global Investment Limited. Okay. Who is the present CCI chairman? Competition Commission of India ने recently approved किया है कि Reliance BP का जो 49% stake है वो BP Global Investment Limited खरीद सकता है and who is the present CCI chairman? It's Ashok Kumar Gupta. The Competition Commission of India approved the acquisition of 100% shares and control of the Tech Data Corporation by Tiger Midco LLC, a limited liability company. ठीक है where is the headquarters of the CCI located? CCI कहाँ पे located है? This CCI तो इसका chairman है Ashok Kumar Bukta, its headquarter is where? Its headquarter is in New Delhi. So, now, last question for this session. Under which section of the Competition Act 2002, the CCI approved the acquisition of less than 5% shareholding in Inter's Pharmaceutical Limited? Hello. I guess I am visible. Uh, if I am not visible, I guess my voice is... You can hear me. So, uh, the correct answer for the last question is uh, section 31.1 or the option number 2. So that's all for today's session. We'll again meet tomorrow. Right? So have a nice day and stay safe. Thank you.